Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for cheap and fast coins. Use code ZERK for 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to talk to you guys about the Ultimate Legends coming out tomorrow but also we have a little bit of news regarding Madden 21. Now you guys can see right here this is actually a screenshot taken from the EA livestream. You go on over to YouTube right now, EA Man NFL, I believe it still will show this. It basically just shows that the premiere is going to be happening at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Monday morning. We are going to be getting a little reveal trailer for Madden 21 but they actually removed this now this screenshot was taken from marksman over on twitter so big shout out to him they had some stuff in their description but first up i do want to give a shout out to hunter masuda for being a part of the noti gang if you guys have a chance to be shouted out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are subbed to the channel turn that notification bell on and comment down below noti gang at the time i'm recording this video we are about 140 subscribers away from 160k so if you guys are not already subbed to the channel Make sure you guys hit that sub button down below. So let's go over what was actually in here. I know you guys may not be able to actually see it too well. So I'm going to go ahead and read it. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is actually going to be the release date. Now, if you can't happen to see what is highlighted down there. Now, it does say play three days early with the MVP edition beginning August 25th, 2020 on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. So yes, guys, the early edition that we don't know anything that comes with it just yet that hasn't been revealed. I'm sure it'll be more uh, revealed once the link is actually live and everything when this trailer does go live monday at 10 a.m eastern time which you guys already know i'll have a video going over everything kind of breaking it down and all that but this is not good uh this isn't good i think personally just because madden 20 is so content less like there's not really much to do in madden 20 now i do think they're probably gonna drop a couple more promos to end out the year but if you guys remember last year it literally came out almost an entire month they actually an entire month before august 25th on july 24th last year we could actually play with ea access which is one week before the standard edition release so with ea access this year that means we've been to play on august 21st i believe so there is a big big difference between this year and last year with actually being able to play the new Madden. So let me know down below what you guys think about that. August 25th is with the early access of the game, which means the game technically, the standard edition, all that stuff, doesn't come out till August 28th. But if you play Ultimate Team, you're probably going to be pretty enticed to buy the MVP edition, get all the bonus stuff that comes with it, which we'll find out. But I have to say, this means three more months of Madden 20. And if they continue at the same pace with absolutely no content, day after day aside from golden tickets which now they're over uh saturday we have ultimate legends and friday we have fan appreciation packs that i believe will continue to refresh that's gonna be pretty disappointing only having content on friday and saturday and as well as tuesday with the power of expansion players they definitely need to add in new promos and add in some other stuff because this is going to be a rough three months if they don't add in any sort of content now, aside from just that, though, above that, it actually does say some stuff about some in-game mechanics, which, again, kind of worries me. Uh, you guys can see what it says is go all out in Madden NFL 21 with innovative gameplay mechanics that offer advanced levels of control and inspire creativity on both sides of the ball. Feel all out control with the new skill stick ball carrier system. Dominate the edge with fresh pass rush moves. Experience more open field realism with tackle improvements and have more fun with user controlled celebrations. So we don't know exactly what the skill stick ball carrier system is but seeing how that is their new feature one of their highlighted new features in the game that just makes me believe that madden 21 is yet again going to be a big run heavy game if one of their newest features they're trying to highlight especially i'm sure they'll show it in the trailer here whatever it's going to be i'm not exactly sure let me know down below what you think that could potentially be maybe it'll be more freedom when you're actually in the open field kind of I, maybe just a theory here but what if every single player is kind of like human joystick this year i don't think it'll really be like that but that's just something that it could potentially be where you just kind of have freedom of movement and it's just all about your stick skill but it could completely be something different from that that's just kind of what i think would be 
interesting to see. I, I really don't think that's what it's going to be, but just something that kind of popped into my head when I first initially saw that. But seeing how their big feature, one of the big features in the game, is about open field ball movement, ball carrier movement, it definitely makes me think that Madden 21, very similar to Madden 20, is going to be a very, very run heavy game, which if you guys saw my Madden 21 wishlist video, I really want it to be more of a balanced game because the run game is so ridiculously overpowered this year that you are literally able to not throw a pass in a game and still win. Just take a look at the Madden Bowl. They literally won so much money. Joke, shout out to him. I'm nothing against him. It's straight up just how the game is. He played to the game. He didn't throw a single pass the entire game and he had a punter at quarterback and he won the entire tournament. That's not good. That's not fun. That is not good for Madden NFL football. So let me know down below what you guys think about this. Those are just some features, some info that we have about Madden 21. And I guess we'll just have to see when the reveal trailer does come out on Monday. But let me get into the Ultimate Legends that we have coming out. So the first card they decided to reveal that is going to be coming out tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time, per usual, with the Ultimate Legends, is actually the LTD, and it's Dante Culpepper. Now, a little bit interesting decision. I feel like to put out another quarterback back-to-back -back weeks, we did just get Mike Vick last week, and today they bring out LTD Dante Culpepper, which keep in mind, guys, he does not get a skate artist because of his archetype. He's not a scrambler. He's not an improviser, so that 86 speed is only really 86 speed once he's actually passed the line of scrimmage. Uh, he does have 98 throw power, 95 short, 93 medium, 98 deep, 93 throw under pressure, 95 throw on the run, and 96 play action. I think overall is a pocket QB. Looks pretty good, uh, but it, I, I'm really, really against using any sort of quarterbacks here that don't get a skate artist because the pass rush is just so good. If you don't have a skate artist, you're just a sitting duck in the pocket, and that is not good. And also, I kind of feel like a lot of people may have chose a golden ticket quarterback for their free GT today, so I'm not really too sure how many people are going to be interested in Dante Culpepper, unless you're maybe rocking out a theme team, uh, the Vikings theme team. But you already do have another option for the Vikings theme teams, even with Randall Cunningham, who obviously is very, very cheap, not being an LTD with all the market crashes going on. He's extremely cheap. He has Skate Artist, obviously, does also have, I believe, uh, Human Joystick. So I'm not really sure who's going to choose Dante Culpepper over, say, even Randall Cunningham for Think Team's sake. So the LTD this week, probably not going to be very expensive, especially with everyone getting the free GTs going with quarterbacks. I don't really know how many people decided to not go with a QB, although, you know, maybe only like 50%, 40% of people, whatever, did decide to choose a QB. I don't really think a lot of people care about Dante Culpepper. But I also got the two other Ultimate Legends coming out tomorrow. As you guys can see, we have Patrick Willis coming out tomorrow, which is actually pretty good. Uh, this is a card I've been waiting to get upgraded on my personal team. And I'd say I'm pretty excited he actually does get an upgrade tomorrow with 94 speed, 94 excel, 97 hit power, 94 block shooting, 83 zone, 97 tackling, 92 strength, and 97 play rec. I actually didn't pick up the Ultimate Legend Ray Lewis because I've just been waiting on Patrick Willis to come out because I knew he'd be a little bit faster he has great hit power great block shed you know he doesn't get up to 90 zone coverage but that's okay because i like him more kind of as a user card and great 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 middle linebacker against the run so i have to say may not be too excited about the ltd but at least we do have a very very good set ul tomorrow and you may be a little bit surprised about this one but the other set ul is actually jan and i always mess his last name up so i know i'm probably gonna mess it up Stanuard, let me know down below if I messed it up, but he has 99 kick power and 93 kick accuracy. And honestly, I'm not sure if we've ever had an ultimate legend kicker aside from this one. So this makes me think because usually they wait to drop the first 99 overall kicker and the first 99 overall punter with position heroes, which we still don't have in the game. So with them dropping a 99 overall kicker UL, maybe we'll get a punter UL as well. And this is kind of their way of saying, hey, we're not going to get position heroes this year. I'm not too sure. Maybe we do still end up getting position heroes. I really, really, really do hope we do because we don't have any content in the game. We need to get a new promo. Position heroes would be perfect. So Jance Denewert is going to be the offensive set hero for tomorrow. And the defensive set is going to be Patrick Willis. So honestly... Not too bad at all. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Patrick Willis. We also have got Culpepper as the LTD. And we have the offensive hero, I guess, kind of 
offensive UL, I guess you could say. It's really a special teams and Jansen Neward. So those are the Ultimate Legends coming out at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow. You guys already know I will be dropping a video at 10.30 a.m., probably around 11 a.m. Eastern time. So make sure you guys have the notification bell on. Drop a like on the vid if you did enjoy the video. And also let me know down below what you guys thought about the Madden 21 info, the release date, everything like that. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'll see you guys next time.